I, I born in a city named Jaffna in Sri Lanka. It's the northern part of Sri Lanka. Then I lived there. Yeah, then uh, we had lots of civil war back home. So uh, when I was in the uh, second year of university back home, and uh, because of the civil war, we had to displace to another city. So then it always is interrupt our studies and our daily life. So I decided to move to some countries uh, to have a better life. So I chose to Canada, so I moved to Canada in 1996. So I came here to Prince Rupert because uh, the only family lives here. I know them because uh, uh, they is a far related to my family. So I know them, so I came to Prince Rupert. Then after then I, I went to college here at the Northwest Community College to upgrade my language because English is a second language. The cultural different, the people behavior different, the community different, the way they uh, think and act and sense is still different. Because back home is a difference because uh, Sri Lanka is a third world country and this is a, it's a modernized country. So everything is completely other side of the coin. The biggest things for me um, is um, I can go peacefully to sleep. Because in the back home, because of the civil war, when you go to sleep, we don't know whether we're going to wake up next day or we're going to die. So life is in a, in a, in a very jeopardized over there. Here I know I can go home as peacefully, I can sleep. I felt like uh, I, I felt the peace in here and the freedom. And that is a big thing for me. It's, it's the money and the luxury life is totally on the side, but that doesn't make me any happy. The, 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 the happy to go to sleep and bed, I know I'm going to wake up tomorrow. That's the most, uh, that was the most important, powerful thing for me at that time. I'm just uh, working on a big project, um, the Mariners Park, I don't know if you know it. Um, uh, the Lions Club put it up there 22 years ago, mm -hmm. and now that's just falling apart. So only 60% left on the structure. So I'm taking the lead to build up a new one. So it's going to be cost close to around $150,000 project. So I'm leading this project and uh, I'm going back to the community as a most help. If I can spend one hour you know, to the community, I think everybody can, because at the end, I'm, too, I'm, I'm old enough to go and play on the park. It's going to be the future generation, the kids mm -hmm. going to be used. I think it's everybody responsible to help the communities to support the project.